There are two releases when it comes to the short game. If you're trying to hit the ball low or a low trajectory, there's a release. And on a higher trajectory, there's a different release. Also in the setup, if you're hitting the ball low, you're going to have more shaft lean. That's 82 degrees or 8 degrees of shaft lean. A higher shot, the ball is going to be a little more forward. And only 3 degrees of shaft lean there at, at 87. Both of these shots, we're going to use our lower body. Lower body is going to shift, and after it shifts, it's going to rotate. So let's look first at a low trajectory release. As we come into the ball, we're hitting against that left side. The lower body has shifted. There is impact. You can see that the handle is quite a bit more forward. And in the low trajectory release, we're going to keep the club head low to the ground going through. And the club is not really going to go much past our left arm as we go through. So the club head will be low and not much past the left arm. In the higher trajectory release, we're going to let the club head go more. So we're, we're going to let the club head, now as we come into impact, we're going to see that the impact position will look somewhat similar. There's impact, so you can see that that impact looks similar to where it was with the low trajectory shot. So there's the two impact positions. You can certainly see the shaft angle. You can certainly see my lower body has shifted. But here's the difference in the higher trajectory release. We're going to let our arms and hands rotate and the club head pass our hands and let the club recock on the other side. That's the higher trajectory release. And notice where the club head is. It's out of the picture. So let the arms and hands rotate and get the club up in the air. With the low trajectory release, you want to have the weight forward hitting down and low release through it. Once you understand what you want to do, here is a short checklist, which I call Short Game 101. And that is, number one, weight in the lead side for a right-handed golfer, weight in the left side at impact. So notice that my hat, the corner of my hat, at impact, my head is going to be in that same place. But notice where my lower body is. My lower body is forward at impact. So right here is impact. Notice the shaft angle and the weight has shifted with the lower body. So weight in lead side is number one. That allows you to hit down. And then the third part is we want to release. And that's the arms and hands are going to rotate. The club head's going to go past the left arm. And we're going to rehinge the club back up. And then the secret is as I come through this ball, it's keeping this lead shoulder. And here it is right here. Secret, keep the lead shoulder low. Notice the left shoulder doesn't come up a lot. I work with a lot of ladies that that left shoulder comes up, the head ends up going backwards, and they end up blading it or drop kicking it. So there's some three big keys for you to help you. And I just worked with someone yesterday that I had to work on them. They were releasing the club well. They didn't have their weight in their lead side enough, and they, they were coming up with that left shoulder. So work on these things in your short game, and I think that will help you.